hello everyone i am back again today to do a new project and i'm going to do is a nice cute owl making this is this pushy owls are very cute you can use as a keychain you can put a small ribbon here hang hang on your bags or anything and then again you can use as a decoration also so i'm going to teach you how to make this very easy simple pushy owl it's so cute okay for the step one you need felt so what I did, you need to design your own. You can draw on a paper and trace out to, onto a cardboard. It's very easy. So because this cardboard, when you keep and draw around it, it's very hard and very easy. So what you need is for the owl, few felt, embroidery thread and fillings. For the fillings, you can use of course cottons or anything. Or if you don't have that board, both you can do is Whatever the balance pieces that you cut from the owl or any kind of felt pieces, you can just push those inside. It's very easy. So you need two parts, one for the back, one for the front. Keep the back one in the side. First you will do is, then you need a tummy, small part. For the same size, you just keep it in the bottom. So if you see, for your owl, you need a small part of your tummy. So what you will be doing, you just start, keep it together, you can start to stitch, the stitching very simple way, don't go hard way stitching, simple and the thread colors it's up to you whatever the color you will be like you can use it, so like this way you can see. Once your tummy is done, you can go for the eyes. The parts you can cut the way you like. The simple designs will be much more nice. Don't go for hard way. So like this way. So remember, you only stitch on the top. This part you don't need to stitch. Leave it empty because once you do the both the parts together, you can stitch last. So once you do it, finish it, put a knot. Keep it in the side then start with the eyes so if you see i have three pieces for the eyes black white and pink so the black white part always stick with black and white but the pink color part you can change the way you like you can use like different colors red yellow green blue whatever like make it multicolor like a rainbow way. so i'm going to use is into this one i will first keep the yellow and over it black and white like this way. So first you have to do is take it, stitch the, keep the black color part in a side. If you see, just go around with the white and the yellow exactly in the middle. Like this way. I am teaching you simple stitching, you don't need to do hard ones. You can use this one, it's a fabric also, you don't need to use exactly felt. I use felt but if you don't have felt, go ahead use fabric, it will be much more nicer. So now the white color part is done. And over this, we will keep the black color in the edge. It will be much more nice. Okay, so now our one eye is almost done. What we can do, uh, I 
I use normal drawing. I just design by myself a drawing. But there's so many patterns from the Google you can download. I just cut, draw in a paper, then I use the cardboard. And I went around, I cut the cardboard and then I kept the cardboard on the felt and when I draw it. So first thing, simple circle will be fine. Draw a circle and make the two point for the head glass. So when you make the two point for the head side, so it will look like an owl on the cardboard. So it's very easy. So if you see, this way I did. So for the tummy, same circle, half of the circle you will design for the tummy. So once your head is done, sorry, eye. So you can now keep the eye on the light blue part in a one side. Now you can stick together. So go all the way around. See, I'm almost done with the eye. Once your eye is done, you have to repeat the same thing in the other part. Because you need two eyes for the oil. So, if you see, same way. Now, you have to do the other eye on the other side, like this way, same way but make sure it's equal balancing like this way see together so once your eye is down you can do with the mouth just the triangle you will stitch onto here so it will be much more easy i will put a pin and show you so it's easy for you to see how to do it Then you will stitch the mouth exactly in the middle between the eyes. It should be stitched like this way. So once your mouth is done, you can cut the legs. So I use like a flower shape or you can do the pointed one like this one. You see, pointy. Like this way. So you can do this and you can skip stitching together. This one. So, design's up to you. You can draw your own ideas. It's very nice if you draw your own ideas, designs. So, if you see. It's very cute, right? It's very easy. And don't forget the feathers in the side. So, you see, wings. So, what you will do for the wings, you cut another shape. So, the wings you can cut like, I just made like a wave design. Up and down, up and down. And then, I stitch it in the side. So, like this way once keep it here together now you take the back side part you need two the back keep it together start to stitch from the edge if you see closer stitching marks go around it like this way up to the bottom so the Back side body part you have to stitch once your all the body parts are done, not before it. When you finish, make, you sh make sure you keep a small opening so you can do the filling before you close it. Let's see, I'm I almost done. Even here I had to do the eye because I needed to finish, finish it. So, what I did first, I will repeat again. You have to cut 
two part of the body one for the back one for the front and you need to have for the eyes is one colorful part and there is a black and white part so you keep together all the three first you do the black and white then you keep together stitch it and then it, you have to stitch that onto the front body so once you're done with the front body then you go for the other eye your tummy is done your eyes are done then you can go for the legs and then don't forget you have to make your wings in the side and then make a pointy triangle shape it's totally fine for the mouth once all finish only you will take the back side part and keep together and stitch it from the side you can go all the way around like i did here you see you can see all the way around and when you come to a small opening you stop it because you have to use this opening to put the fillings inside as i said if you don't have fillings cottons or anything you can use like old pieces of uh, felt just put it and close it and remember in this one i just want to hang this one in the wall so i put a ribbon you can see it's very nice it's cute and nice i like the ribbon way so the color matching it's up to you ribbon it's up to you but you can again do a small ribbon and use as a keychain on a side of your bag it's very nice so i hope you guys enjoy today lesson thank you for watching me see you tomorrow with a new project this is very easy and simple you guys will enjoy doing it thank you so much for watching me